Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear Hello, me? Hello, sir. Okay, so how are you? Yes. Fine. How about you? Okay, so I am fine. Thank you. So basically, uh, you want to learn from me from the urban growth modeling using the cellular automata. Okay, so basically today yeah. is our first day. And basically today I will try to discuss about that all of the factor which you want to need to run the model of cellular automata. And after completing all of the factor, then I also try to show you that how you can easily apply the cellular automata using the python code and also make the prediction for the future urban growth and also make the uh, modeling of the urban growth so let's go just i simply share my screen and try to start our today's class okay so let's go okay so now can you see my skin can you see my skin now yes okay okay let's go so now let's start so hi and welcome to the monitoring and modeling of a special temporal urban growth uh, using cellular automata so basically okay so first of all i will try to discuss about that what is the cellular automata so mainly cellular automata is a computational model that consists of a grid of cell so mainly uh, it consists of grid of cell and uh, suppose this cell contains the different types of information such as build up area water body vegetation okay and each of which can be particular state suppose some cell or some pixel value pixel value mainly cell okay so this consists of cell some cells store some individual information suppose some cells uh, individual information such as this cell is only collect the data from water body or build up area okay and the state of cell can be updated based on the state of the neighboring cell so it's very important for cellular automata model so suppose uh, i can get the some cell as a build up area in the best other cell neighbor neighbor of the other cells also build up area because in cellular mod model it update based on the state of its neighboring cell according to the set of rules these rules are typically simple and deterministic meaning that the state of a cell is completely determined by the state of its neighboring and the rule of set so in cellular method suppose i can get the sum cell of uh, build up area and then in this time near the build up area all of the cell also considering also considering as a build up area okay so now the grid of cell it can be one dimensional two dimensional or three dimensional and the update process can be synchronous or asynchronous so in this time we are mainly working for the two dimensional cell in here for our uh, land use land cover classification pixel value okay we can get the only for the uh, two dimensional such as we can get only the height and width okay and cellular model is a popular approach for in urban planning and geography and this approach involves using the ca model to simulate the growth of urban areas over a time based on a set of the rules that take into account for factors such as land use then population growth then transportation network and environmental factor the basic idea behind this approach to a create a simulation of urban growth 
that can be used to predict the likely future in development of a particular area. And how to create the CA model for monitoring and modeling the urban growth? So mainly it's identify the key feature that influence the urban growth in the study area. These key features such as population growth, economic development, then transportation network and environmental constraints. So in this time, in this model, uh, which I will try to show you that, I will try to show you that all of the factors. So urban growth modeling using cellular automata and in this model, I use all of the factors such as first of all, I need to create the actual land use land cover from the satellite images. Suppose I take the land use land, create the land use land cover classification map from the satellite image for year of 1990 and also make the 2020. So two time period, I can get the satellite image from here and then use this satellite image and then also make the future or prediction urban growth modeling. Okay, and in this time, I also need to put other factor such as distance from major roads. So distance from major roads, I also 